DJ Davis Production. Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to this Saturday's live cooking show. So today, as you can see, look what we got over here. We got some pork rinds. Now, let me, let me do a little background on, make sure everything's working. I can see everything on this end, but I don't see it in the stream. We got pickles, we got old bastard, we got yokum, we got Jack Payne, Mike from the Culinary Cookhouse. Good morning, welcome. Thank you all for coming in. Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to this Saturday's live. Maybe I should check my volumes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, pork rinds is, is a breakfast dish that that uh, is pretty common in Mexico. Uh, Mexico. Uh, usually they make like little little folded burritos, which they would consider like taquitos. Uh, today I'm going to be making a plate. Now I'm going to be saving that taquito style for later when I get that Blackstone. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be making some chicharron, which is the pork rinds, and then some beans, some refried beans, and some egg, and we're going to just top it off with some goodness. I made a fresh salsa, and I got some queso fresco. So uh, let's get into it. So yeah, these these right here, this is a local company uh, that lives, uh, or well, that's in my city. Uh, they make tortillas, they make flour, corn tortillas, they make chips, they make uh, these here, um, all kinds of different snacks, but uh, pretty good stuff, good quality. We got Mike in the house, we got Carolina Country cooking and barbecue, good morning. Who else we got up in here? Yes, Pickles, I agree, nothing better than uh, coffee and me. <laughs> I had much to look at, but uh, yeah. All right, let me get back into uh, chat. Let's see. My thing's tripping over here. Okay. Yeah, uh, my my uh, live stream just did a an update, and uh, it's not showing my chat, but uh, I could work with it. So let's go ahead and bring this over here. I'll just have to keep going back and forth. Ain't nothing new on this live stream. Got to work with what we got. So I'm going to start off by doing some refried beans. Uh, I did some beans last night. Uh, I was I was actually up with, uh, I was waiting for those beans to finish up. I was uh, chatting with Marion and uh, Chef Johnny over there at uh, Textile, Road, uh, Textile Barbecue and Cuisine and, uh, and Leprechaun TV. Uh, we were chatting yesterday in uh, Google Hangouts and uh, yeah, so I was just waiting for those to finish up, get them in the, in the crock pot. This is the final product after it cooled down. Yeah, bean, beans in the crock pot are like super easy. So yeah, got some good spices in there. And uh, we're going to fry these bad boys up. I'm going to... Let's see, pull up my chat again. Hey, what's up, Mr. Hard Charger? How you doing, brother? Good morning and salute. Hey, welcome, Mr. Hard Charger. Good to see you, brother. So, how was everybody's week? I was dying to get out of work yesterday. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I've had it to hear what worked, so... Uh, I actually haven't been doing a whole lot of recording on YouTube. I've just been kind of like trying to take my time and spend time with my family and just enjoy things, you know. Um, yeah, I've been watching a lot of YouTube. I just haven't really been doing. I have a lot of videos. I have some videos. I don't have a whole lot. I have uh, some videos uh, kind of like saved up. I don't know. I'm just uh, enjoying things right now. I had a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So yeah, I'm just enjoying things. Uh, these live streams don't stress me out at all. Recording videos don't stress me out at all, but it's just, you know, I've been one to spend time with my family. It's something that YouTube kind of takes away, so yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and heat this pan up, get these beans fried, and trust me, once I put everything together, it's gonna come out nice. It's gonna, seasoning the, the chicharron, 
that's really gonna be the topper because you go you gotta have like usually this is just kind of like an easy way. This is El Vato sauce. Basically, it's called the, the name El Vato duck, basically. But it's a it's a hot a tomato sauce. It's hot. Uh, you can use uh, what's a rotel rotel. Uh, it's kind of like that spice tomato blend. You got those th type of things in there too. Uh, but there's so many different ways you can do it. Basically, just taking the pork rinds and putting them in uh, like a salsa, like a hot sauce or something. Kind of moisten them up, and you cook them. You make them nice and tender. And then, um, you know, you, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can make tacos out of it. You can make little burritos out of it. Uh, like today, we're going to be putting in a plate. Um, but I can show you what a, a little taco looks like in it. Let's see. Uh, I need some spoon. And as always, uh, shouting out the uh, person doing some, uh, give, providing some music. We got DJ Davis Productions. Uh, his link is down in the description. Let me just double check, make sure I did that. I forgot. <laughs> All right, I'll get that. I'll get that in a little bit and put it on there. But yeah, I will have his channel link in the description. Uh, that way, you guys will check him out. If you guys ever need some music, uh, hit him up. He's a really cool guy. Uh, he's got some good good music, and uh, he's he's consistent. So uh, he, you know, if you ever need anything new, he's you know, just hit him up. Let's see who we got. Yoko, I'm, uh, I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Having them off. Alright, so we got, uh, let's go ahead and throw some of these in there. You want to get some of that juice in there. Yeah. Now, since these are like really, really cold, I got to get the beans hot so they are easier. Beans are easier to smash when, once they're heated up. So, uh, that should be enough, yeah. Let me just put this bad boy back in here. Get some eggs. Yeah, beans and queso fresco is like the perfect match right there. Um, definitely a, a, a must must have in my kitchen. You know, if I'm making any type of beans, I gotta have queso fresco to put on there. Melissa says outdoor vlogs. Good morning and welcome. Uh, it is. Let's see what I missed here. Okay, so I need my bean smasher. I, I'm kind of off on chat because I left my work phone at work. So uh, it was by accident. So yeah, I'm kind of having to go back to the computer to, to check the chat. Just a little bit more heat to this bad boy, get it going. Breakfast, we're having a Mexican dish called chicharron. It's basically pork, pork rinds. Um, this is my brand of pork rinds right here. But uh, basically we're gonna salt them up, put them on a little bit of salsa, and we're gonna cook them up so they kind of make them nice and, and, and mushy a little bit. Uh, they're really good. So I'm gonna be pairing it with some egg be, uh, refried beans and then of course our chicharron mix, our pork rind mix. So for right now I'm just uh, doing some uh, refried beans as these heat up. Oh, uh, congratulations to Chef Johnny. He hit, uh, I believe it was 14,000 subscribers. Uh, Texas style barbecue and cuisine. Congratulations, uh, he just hit 14,000 subscribers. Something he's working on. He's trying to get more and more subscribers. Uh, so congratulations, uh, Chef Johnny. Yeah, I think we should be good here. So let's go ahead and start smashing.
When you don't have so much juice in there, it's a little bit easier because you can see, you know, your beans. Once I'm done smashing, I'm going to add a little bit of milk, kind of add that creaminess. Smash there and get a spoon. I need, I really need to get a different bean smasher, the ones that are, are wired and are open a little bit more so that way the beans don't stick. I've been saying, I say that every single time, and when I go to Walmart, I never think to pick up that look, bean smasher and a can opener. Those things I've been having on my list for quite some time, and I still have not bought a bean smasher that I want and the uh, can opener so yeah I need a I need a better uh, memory list go ahead and put these on low now okay so now that we got these all smashed up we're gonna add a little bit of moisture in them because I don't want them to get too too dry it's because I didn't put a whole lot of juices when I first started cooking these these are already seasoned, so you don't need to add any salt and pepper or anything like that. Uh, like last week's cookie, uh, cook, uh, if you want to add a little bit of smoky flavor and some of that bacon, uh, you can add uh, some chopped bacon into it to add that smoky flavor. So we're just adding a little bit of milk because I want these nice and creamy. Okay, so I'm gonna just let that heat up just a little bit more because yeah, I'm gonna put the lid on it yeah see this is this is the consistency that I want right here kind of like a like a saucy bean you don't want to dry you just want to kind of runny so once I put everything together you'll see why because uh, you know that's just how I like my beans that's all <laughs> uh, just depends what I'm doing. Uh, if I'm putting beans on a plate, um, I usually put uh, make them like this, nice and creamy, a little runny. If I'm doing like burritos or something like that, I kind of let allow them to tighten up a little bit. Let's see, I'll fix that camera. Yeah, so I kind of allow them to tighten up a little bit when if I'm not uh, making burritos. You know what, to be honest, I think this is going to be a quick cook. And you know what, I started this live stream without my coffee. Can you believe that? You know, I've been up since uh, 6 in the morning getting ready for this live stream and, uh, and I always forget something. <laughs> but today I forgot my coffee. Alright, so I'm going to just go ahead and put this to the side. So we got our beans done. Now for the chicharron, we're going to go ahead and allow this pan to get heated up. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, olive oil. So while that's heating up, I'm actually going to get my, uh, my coffee. Good morning, Leprechaun. How you doing, bro? We got Mike64. Good morning. Yeah, I got everybody else. Welcome to the live stream. And as always, folks, uh, music is provided today by uh, DJ Davis Productions. Uh, he's going to be the source of all my music in my live streams from now on. So, uh, yeah, go check him out. DJ Davis Productions. Bless this live stream with some coffee. You want some coffee, baby? <laughs> How about some chocolate milk? You want some chocolate milk? Do you have chocolate? I don't know. I don't drink chocolate milk. You tell me. I don't drink milk. We don't have milk. Are you sure? Yeah, I remember. I think we got cocoa. All right, give me a second. I'll, I'll handle it. Oh, 
sugar. I need a chicken. And again, sorry folks, uh, I left my phone at work, so uh, my, I gotta check uh, chat over there at my computer. So if you say something and I miss it, I am truly sorry. Uh, next week won't, won't be the same. I will make sure I have it. Hey, good morning, Daryl. How you doing? Bottle Cat Barbecue, good morning. How's it going, Daryl? Hey, Daryl. Hey, that video with you and your brother, that was comedy, man. <laughs> you know what, Daryl? Uh, if you get, well, I mean, most of you guys know Bad Beats Barbecue. And if you don't know Bad Beats Barbecue, go check out Bad Beats Barbecue. But, Daryl, out. <laughs> When I was watching you with that knife, man, I was just like, put it down. <laughs> As you're talking, you're just swinging the knife like this, and I was just like, put it down. <laughs> that was funny, man. Look like a good night. Cheers, everybody. Shout out to Mr. Mega Fred Zeppelin. All right, so we're starting our chicharron. I got my pan heated, heating up. Make sure my camera's on point. Baby, go over there, please. Come on. Hold you. Gotta regulate the kids every now and then. They want the attention. Alright, I can eat, to be honest, I can eat these just like this. I, I actually buy this sometimes when I'm outside grilling. And uh, I just, hey, this, this salsa right here and these chicharrones, they're, they're delicious. Add a little bit of lemon too. But yeah, so I'm gonna save these. I'm gonna use the, these salsas right here are are really good for eggs. So when I use do this, I usually save these because I love salsa. Yep. I need actually a tomato sauce. Oh, I forgot onion. Going to cut an onion up really quick. Yeah, so this this usually is made with like a taco stuff like that. They actually make um, sandwiches, the, the the Mexican sandwich called torta. Uh, they usually make tortas out of it. Uh, what else? They do all kinds of stuff with it. Tacos, yeah, like tacos. Like if you go to Mexico, tacos is like a big thing that they make the uh, tacos de chicharrón, which is the pork pork rinds. Um, that's like really big out there, you know. It's more. It's mainly like a breakfast thing. It's not. It's not really like an all-day thing. Try not to get like my onion to fall because I'm like using a small little uh, chopping board. Get these a little mince cut really quick. Smaller. Yeah, so I actually do plan on going to Mexico probably in the next couple weeks. You know, I live really close to Mexico. I just don't like going over there. <laughs> That's why, like, all my friends, they always trip out that because we have the the city, the first city to Mexico where I live is a really populated uh, city, and there's so much there. I just don't like going over there. That's, that's just me. All right, so we're gonna start off. We're gonna be adding in our chicharron. We got a little bit of the oil there. Okay, so we got this uh, can of spicy tomato sauce. If you're if if you're not good to heat, just go ahead and use regular tomato sauce. I'm gonna make this kind of kid friendly, so I'm only gonna use about half of this can, and then I'm gonna put a can of just regular tomato sauce. So. Yeah, it just really depends on your flavor, uh, on your, your spice profile, what you like. 
Again, I'm gonna get another. Uh... Okay, this is why I need to get a, a can opener. I have to do it like this. <laughs> I go to I go to Walmart probably like three times a week, and I always forget to get a damn can opener. That should be good. The struggle. Working on it, folks. See, sometimes it spins, sometimes it don't. Maybe I should put on my wallet as I'm, you know, as a reminder, so that way when I pull out my wallet to pay, I'm like, hey, don't forget the uh, <laughs> the can opener, can opener, and uh, what else uh, did I say earlier? Uh, bean smasher. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use half of this can. Now to season this, you want to try to use like beef stock. See, even though these were like really crunchy, they're starting to uh, soak up a lot of that oil and the, the tomato sauce that I just put in there. Uh, not beef stock, uh, chicken stock. Really adds a good flavor. Uh, but I'm gonna kind of cheat a little bit. I got some uh, chicken bouillon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of water because you don't want these to start getting like dried out. Well, it's not dried out, but like the tomato sauce is kind of thick. So uh, I'm going to add just a little bit of water. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take like about probably about half a cup of water. I'm going to take a spoon of the chicken bouillon. Now, if you had chicken broth, this would be perfect uh, because that will actually allow you to put that chicken flavor in there and just add, I'm pretty sure it might be already seasoned. So I'm gonna add just a little, probably about a tablespoon of the chicken bouillon, Norris chicken bouillon, by the way. Okay, uh, really easy if you don't have any uh, chicken broth. Just wanna give that a mix. Now, now we want that to just get all incorporated together. Now, a, a little note, side note. Now, I'm making this kid friendly. Uh, so, if you want it a, a spicier, you can add some chopped jalapenos in there. Um, you can add some tomatoes. You add a little bit more of like a, I guess you could say, a, a, with a little bit more ingredients, you know. Uh, like tomato, you can add some cilantro in there. Uh, this is just kind of like what I'm putting together. Okay, so we got that all set. 
We're gonna let that do its thing. Let that water kind of heat up a little bit because it kind of took it down the temperature a little bit. Let's see, while that's going, let's check out chat. Yes, El Pato Sauce is great. Hey, Eric, uh, good morning, Eric, from uh, Smoking Barbecue Tips and Recipes. What's up, Josh? Josh and babe. Yeah, this uh, pickles, uh, El Pato Sauce, is, or wh whoever was asking, El Pato Sauce is really good stuff. Uh, I, I, to be honest, I love this with beans and, and, and uh, eggs. My wife loves it just for like everyday breakfast, so I constantly have to like kind of re-up. That's kind of like her salsa, the, the El Pato sauce. It's not spicy, but it has really, it's not too spicy. It does have a little kick to it, but it, it's not, uh, how can you say it? It's not like really, really chilly. Now, I made a batch of salsa yet uh, this morning. That stuff chilly. Yeah, this stuff right here, that stuff's chilly. <laughs> Spicy. And look, I got that tub. Look, I always make ahead of time. So this is what I got in the freezer freezing. So that way when that finishes, I got back up. Now I am gonna do, actually I'm gonna do that today. I am gonna show you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video today on, on how to make salsa on the grill. Or, or my, my version of salsa anyways. Um, so yeah, that's that, that'll be like a future video But how when when I do salsa on the grill It brings the flavor like way different way way different. I what I do is I smoke the uh, the peppers the garlic and the um, The onion out on the grill. You don't have to put the onion um, You know that you can you can leave that where you just chop that up uh, later but uh, main important thing is the garlic and the jalapenos or whatever chilies you're using, smoke it on the grill for, for a little bit, get that nice smoky flavor, and then that way when you put like your salsa together, perfect. And that extra smokiness just really comes out, and, and it's it's great. Yeah, I actually did. That's when I was, uh, Eric, uh, I did get some rain, which is uh, kind of odd because we really don't get rain out here. And uh, I woke up to everything wet, and I was like, whoa, what happened here? All right, let me uh, test one of my chicharrones. Perfect. Got good flavor. Good flavor. That that pato sauce kind of adds like a little little spice kick to it at the end. Get that good um, tomatoey flavor, and then the seasoning from the the the, the chicken bouillon. That's really good. Okay, so. Almost done. Man, this is going to be a quick live stream. 26. 8.26. Alright. It is what it is, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and put that there. We're going to go ahead and cover that up. I need my spatula holder. Oh, yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to just fry up some eggs. Super simple. You guys already know how to... You guys can watch Marion all day for me. He does an egg pretty much every day, so... Uh, Cheers, everybody. It is a copy. Sounds like music cut out. What happened here? Good morning, CJ. What's going on, bro? I've never made salsa, but I want. Hey, uh, Yoko. Um, Making your salsa is probably the best way to like, to, cause you could customize it to how you want it. So when I don't have salsa, I'm calling myself lazy because it's so easy to make. You could do it two ways. Well, there's many ways you could do it. Uh, some people that don't have maybe a grill or whatever, um, they could char they char the the peppers on the actual stove, and then um, or you can boil them. Like that's what I did with, with those ones right there, and or you can uh, cook them on the grill. I don't know I don't know what your your cookie methods that you have available to you, uh, but yeah, you could just watch. Cook either way, either char it on the grill on the stove, 
boil it on the stove or on the grill. Make sure you char, make sure you cook your garlic and your jalapeno together. If you're boiling, definitely a must that you want to put the garlic and the jalapeno together because you can use that juice from the, the, the pot to put into your salsa. So if for whatever reason it's not as spicy or just doesn't have that garlic flavor, you can add that water into the mix. And basically once everything's cooked up, I just blend it together. Add a, uh, at least like one lime or a lemon. I add uh, a can of crushed tomatoes. So say like if, uh, depending on the batch. So, so one batch for me would be, depending on the, how hot the, the, the peppers are, uh, could be a range between four to eight peppers, depending on what time of the season is, because wintertime peppers aren't so hot. During the summertime, they're hot as crap. So yeah, that really depends. You, and always check out your peppers to make sure that they're not super, super hot. Uh, so determine how many peppers you're gonna use, depending on how spicy you want it. Um, I, put, I use one can of this here. Or another version, tomatillo. Tomatillos are, are another uh, substitute to this. Boil you up some tomatillos with the peppers and just blend all that together. I would probably say maybe, this is 28 ounce, uh, I'd probably say maybe six, tomat six good sized tomatillos uh, with the garlic and the jalapenos. Um, once I blend everything together, I add a uh, chopped, depending on if you want it chunky, I add some chopped uh, onion and um, just season it with salt and pepper, or just salt, a little bit of salt and uh, cilantro is another option that you could put in there. Uh, key note though, if you don't freeze it right away and you leave the salsa in there with the cilantro, the cilantro turns brown. So that's just a little, little tip there. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. I don't, I don't go, I don't go too crazy on it. I don't, I mean, just depending on different, you know, my, my main thing on the salsas is this, the jalapenos or peppers and the garlic. Uh, that's how my mom makes it. She makes crazy. I don't know what my wife cooking this. All right. Let's find a different pan. <laughs> Actually, let me docker that one. I really don't use this pan. That's why I wasn't really looking at it. Yeah, I only use pretty much like two or three of my cast iron stuff, so this one doesn't really get used. So I got a feeling it's gonna murder my eggs. All right. Hi, good morning, Audrey. How you doing? You got Stan Leroy? Hey, Stan Leroy. Good morning guys so yeah we're, we're almost done i'm gonna fry up an egg and i'm gonna just put everything together and my favorite cheese that'll be some queso fresco hey look i knew i had some from last week right but i went ahead and went to the store to make sure i had some <laughs> so actually this the, when you buy it from the deli out here uh it's it's a little bit more softer of a cheese and it melts better so uh i might go with this today Let's put that back. Yeah, really good stuff with beans. Girls, you guys ready to eat? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and add a little bit more olive oil. I don't want my egg to get stuck to that thing. 
some more fries, mate. Thank you. All right, um, maybe I should start taking orders. How many do you want? Uh, Give me a Two. Two? And you? How many eggs, baby? One? With some beans and cheese? Okay. They don't, they don't know what to order. Huh? You have to give me one because she's gonna like this. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't like okay, soap. I'm, I'm cooking here. I want soup. You want soup? I don't yeah. think you'll eat two. No, she's not. <laughs> I don't Funny how kids try to tell you what they want and then when you give it to them, they don't even eat it. <laughs> you know, I gotta. I, I gotta like learn to portion them correctly because then they're stuck with like half a plate of food. And yeah. Let's see. Let's see if we got some heat up in here. Well, not yet. Not yet. That's the only reason why I don't like cast iron sometimes. That's why I pulled out all my stainless steel. But this one, for some reason, it's got some cake on it. I want to see what the hell that is. Looks like a sugar or something. I'm about to see what, see what it is. Fry up some eggs. And I was worried that, that it was gonna stick on this. I don't I don't usually use this uh, cast iron pan too much. Uh, I think the one time I did try using it, um, yeah, because I, I I really need to season this properly and and get it nice and, and oily. But I, like I said, I don't ever use it because it's too too small for me. <laughs> but uh, looks like it's doing okay now. A little bit of cracked pepper as you cook it. A couple grains of salt. Yeah, this is why I, this is why I don't like it it's too darn small. Give it a quick flip. Yeah, I can't wait to get my Blackstone. Once I get my Blackstone, we're going to be outside. And actually, I showed uh, Chef Johnny and Leprechaun and uh, Marion what I'm going to be surrounding my Blackstone with. Uh, my wife picked me up a... Well, she didn't pick I had to carry it. Things heavy. Um, it's a bar made out of pallets. And, uh, so yeah, that's going to be like my accessory. Uh, I got I to gotta work on it and everything. Uh, so it's gonna be a little project that I'm gonna have in the next, you know, couple weeks. All right. Just wanna close off that other side. All right, folks. So this. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, get to get to viewing. Let me uh, go ahead and put this down here. May I help you? See how we look at it. Hello. Alright, so we got our, our cooked egg right here. Does mom have joke? I'll cook yours right now, chill. I'm just trying to show for the camera, baby. Alright, so <sighs> pass me the tortillas, baby. They are, oh no, they're over here. I got it, I got it. Uh -huh. 
Oh, queso fresco. The queso fresco. Oh. All right, now for the good stuff. Here, let me show. Let me show you how to doctor this up. Okay, so now we got our beans right there. This queso is delicious stuff right here. Just go ahead and crumble it all over your beans. And some of your chicharron, your pork rinds. Now you think I'm done there, right? Nope. Now, like Charlie would say, you need some red to it, but I mean, I already got red to it in, in the chicharron. But we need some sauce on that egg, buddy. So, where's my super hot salsa? Now, now, be in mind, keep in mind, you can use whatever salsa you want. It could actually be a green salsa. Drizzle a little bit of that salsa right there on top. Yeah, you know what? Let's add a little bit to the beans. Give it a nice kick. But these uh, chicharrones, the flavor on these, really good stuff. Yeah, really good for flavor profile. You know, because they were kind of like already pre-seasoned as they cooked them, you know, from the manufacturer. All right. You can't serve a plate of any Mexican food and not have a tortilla. So we got to heat up a tortilla. Send you a plate. Got you, brother. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do this uh, my grandpa's way. Just heat it up on the stove. No griddle or nothing. You can use flour, you can use corn, well, whatever, whatever favorite tortilla you like. Go ahead and uh, heat you up a couple and serve it. Let me see, I need that other lid. Ooh, hot. Okay, we'll do two, two tortillas. Give you, I'll go. What you guys call it? The flyover? Is that what you guys called it? I'll give you guys the flyover right now. Here, just let me clear out some of these uh, pans really quick. Here, this side looks better, right there. Woo, hot. Believe it or not, tortillas get hot, man. <laughs> All right, so here, here, let's give it, let's go ahead with the flyover. Uh, chicharron. Actually, here, let me put it over here. Now we can see it better. So we got the egg with the salsa on there. Beans with the queso fresco and the salsa, and then the chicharron. See if I can get that a little bit better. And then we got our tortillas. Actually, that would have took a lot faster. Just you know, chit chatting and all that stuff. So really, you can actually achieve this cook within like 20 minutes. This is really not a hard cook at all. Like super, super simple. Like you can have this done within like 20 minutes because all you're doing really is just heating up some beans. Now see, I can't utilize my whole stove because I got cameras right here. I got my other camera right here. So I'm, I'm, I got two burners and sometimes those, those uh, pans don't really fit on both of these burners. So I'm cooking one thing at a time. But yeah, if you had your whole stove that you can utilize, three different pans, 
you can have this done within less than 20 minutes. Seriously. Like as long as you have your beans already ready and you already got all the ingredients, all you need is just put everything together and just whip it up. So you can have this, you can have breakfast done within less than 20 minutes uh, cooking this. So definitely you guys need to try this out if you're into it. Um, <laughs> if not, you know, my bad. I, I feel for you. <laughs> Some green, needs green. Well, I, I, I did add cilantro too. Let's see, what do I have green at all? I knew, I knew you were gonna say green. But green doesn't really have a place for it. Here. There, pickle. <laughs> There's your green. <laughs> oh no, here, here, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put it in the right spot here, here. Right there. Better? <laughs> Let me get. Let me make sure that's in the shot. Hold on. Yeah, perfect. Hey, there, there you go. Yeah, that's a perfect shot right there. <laughs> All right, just, just joking. Now this, this pepper is gonna be for uh, the salsa that I cook for the video. Uh, so yeah, if you guys ever wanna wanna check out how to make a salsa, so that'll, that'll be coming out soon, pretty soon. I just want to give a, a, a huge shout out to uh, Cooking with CJ. Congratulations, you got married. Uh, that's awesome, brother. Uh, congrats, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy many, many years. Uh, it is like a side job. It is like a, another job. So, uh, <laughs> hey, the good thing you ain't got no hair because you ain't got to worry about it, bro. <laughs> My stuff started starting to get gray. So, uh, congrats, brother. Um, if you guys don't, everybody knows CJ up in here. If you guys don't see, don't know CJ, go check out CJ, cooking with CJ. Um, so yeah, this is a fairly quick cook. I'm surprised it actually took as long, but you know, like I was saying earlier, that it's uh, uh, due to I'm, I'm using half of my burners, other than uh, you know, utilizing my whole stove. Like I said, you can you can do this within less than 20 minutes. Very 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 simple dish. Uh, so. Uh, just go ahead and follow the steps, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, next week, I'll be here, 8 o'clock in the morning, Pacific Standard Time. I want to thank everybody that came by today, uh, even those that left a little earlier or whatever. I just want to say thank you to everyone. Thank you to everybody that's watching this after the live stream. I truly appreciate it. Uh, you guys have a great weekend, and just be safe, you know. Uh, just be careful. Enjoy your family. Eat some good food and have a good time. So I'll see you guys next weekend. Y'all take care. Be beautiful. Peace.